Good evening and welcome. I have started this video at uh, T minus T-2. Two. I have TV coverage until I will go outside and then we'll see the sky glowing. So you'll have NASA TV in the background on the laptop as well as TV coverage or ABC sister station. T minus one minute and fifteen seconds. Three liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank for it to get the proper flight pressure. T minus one minute and count. And we have a go for all the sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus fifty seconds. We're transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Count. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start in 10 seconds. 10 seconds. We have a go for main engine start. Six, four, three, two, one. And we have we a go have for auto sequence ignition. start. And Discovery's yeah. onboard yeah. computers have yeah. primary control yeah. of all the vehicle's yeah. critical yeah. functions. T minus 22 yeah. seconds. Minus 15 seconds in counting. Okay, let's head outside. We're walking outside. 10 seconds. We have a go for main engine start. Six. Three. Two. One. There's the sky glowing. Ignition and liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. You go outside. There you are. Okay, I'm going to go outside the uh, screen. Altitude 18 miles. Speed 3,000 miles an hour. Already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Uh, too faint. Clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage. Discovery's orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to assist the climb into orbit. They'll fire for about a minute and 37 seconds. Thank you for joining us tonight. Three good engines, three good up to 